in college, mm -hmm. when I would go and I worked part time at Ann Taylor, I would constantly oh, come home uh, with shopping bags, and Dad would be so mad at me to be like, Jessica, we take your money. We'd have to hide them in the car. I was, I remember for the first time we went grocery shopping? We were arguing over mayonnaise and Miracle Whip because right. my family ate mayonnaise and his family ate Miracle Whip, and he's like, "Well, we can't have both." And I'm like, "Well, yes, we can." <laughs> right. So that was, you know, yep. that was probably one of our first arguments. Yep. Your budget, food, giving, water, spending Amazon. food, water, Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I think the neatest thing about um, FPU was being able to transfer it down to your kids, teach those money management principles to your kids. Yeah, we just thank you for this food. And let's face your name. Amen. Amen. We have three children. Our son is Jordan. Then we have Jessica and Joel, their twin daughters. Jordan, I would say, would be a saver. He, he's a saver for sure. He's a saver. When I first got my first real job, got out of college, graduated, my parents actually gave me the financial peace book um, that they had gotten from the first time they did the class. And they said, you know, you should really take a look at this. And I said, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I don't think this is for me right now. You know, I'm young. I just got my uh, good job. You know, I'm making money for the first time. You know, I don't want to do this. No, no. But if it's Jessica, well, Jessica's, Jessica's next. next. Jessica's older by three minutes. By three minutes. Yes. She was our spender. I always like to spend money. I always thought, if you have it, why can't hold on to it? Um, and I would just, you know, decide what do I need right now? What's going to make me feel good right now? Is that insane? Joelle. She was probably more of a, she was probably more of a mixture of the, a, of the two of them. Mixture, I mean, she, yeah. she did spend some, but she saved some as well. When we first got married, we were just kind of spending wherever we wanted, little things for the house. You know, you buy a new house, you want to decorate, and before you know it, your paycheck's gone, and then you need to, you're like, okay, well, we need to put gas in the car, we need to buy food, we need, we need XYZ, we need electric bill money, and you realize you have to be an adult. All three of them are married now. They're out on their own. They have their own houses. They have their own expenses. We are still in baby step two, which would be the debt reduction phase of Dave Ramsey's plan. Um, however, we've paid off $45,000 this year. We saw how great it was for my sister and her husband, and we were like, you know what, we're gonna try this. We're gonna see if it works. My whole family is kind of going through financial peace at the same time. We're all in different stages of financial peace, but we kind of use our family as a, as a cheer, you know, cheering squad for us. My brother and my sister and I all talk about it. In the long run, it's paid off. Yeah. We were able to pay our down payment and everything on our house, yeah. cash. I wish we would have done it sooner than now. <laughs> I feel like we're we're just happier together because I don't feel like we have money as a big stressor. She's like, how much is this? She's like, uh, 25. She's like, would you take 24? Yeah. <laughs> it's just neat to see that they are able to budget their money and be accountable for their money. Because our children are all at different financial places. They all have different jobs. They all make different amounts of money. But no matter what the amount of money they make, they're still putting away money for the future. They're making sure that they're secure. And that's the thing I love about, you know, the financial piece is the security that you find in knowing that your finances are right. You know, it's just nice that, to see my kids not struggling. You're kind of not only changing, but you can actually change your kids' lives, which in turn kind of changes like a family lineage or tree. We're works in progress just like yeah. anybody else. But you know, I mean, it's, yeah. we do our best. Right. We do our best. That's all. I think that's all God expects anyway. He expects us to give our best. He doesn't expect us to be perfect. <laughs>